Ask Reddit by falling down 1242 what is a good show that got cancelled for no good reason? Futurama, twice, but... We're back baby. Good news everyone. Better off Ted. Viridian Dynamics. Doing the right thing. It's important. What does it mean in business? We have no idea. We know what wrong is. Actually, no, we don't. Because we're a successful company, not some boring ethics professor. Viridian Dynamics. Right and wrong. It means something. We just don't know what. Rome HBO cancelled it because they considered it too expensive. It was insanely expensive. The only reason it got made was because it was a BBC joint production 100 million a season in 2007 dollars. Even for a flagship show, which this wasn't, that's a ton of money. Deadwood on HBO, years ago. The movie they did didn't do it justice. They really should have done a limited series to tie everything up, because the movie felt like a long episode and they tried to cram everything in there. It just wasn't worthy of the series. Coxsuckers. Got a same in Hunter. Really seemed like one of the only shows that Netflix actually dragged their feet on cancelling, seeming to hope Fincher would return to it. The only reason I clicked on this post, is to find this comment so I can sock some more. Dead Like Me. Movie was trash. Series deserved better. Basically any Netflix series that people want to keep watching. I'm not okay with this was such an amazing show that ended on such a cliffhanger. Travelers. Yes. Although the conclusion was pretty cool. I am not okay with this. Also, almost human. And X200B. Edit, well, this blew up in ways I didn't expect. I just plonked down to shows that appeal to my oddball tastes in entertainment thinking barely anyone would have heard of or remember these. Makes me happy to see I'm wrong, though a little sad too. Shame that if so many folks loved these shows, they weren't able to continue. Loved Almost Human. Carl Urban for heaven's sake. I don't think they gave it enough time to grow and get attention. King of the Hill. It was cancelled not because of low ratings or controversy, but because Fox wanted to make room for the new and upcoming comedy, The Cleveland Show. That's not a joke by the way, that's actually the reason Koth was cancelled. And the Cleveland show's ultimate failure has become a running gag on Family Guy lol. Freaks and Geeks. Such a brilliant show and the cast is unbelievable when you look at what many of them went on to do. Pushing Daisies. It was cancelled due to the writer's strike, which was not a good reason to cancel it. I wish we got more of Chuck and Ned's dads. I still remember watching the ending for the first time and not realizing that it was the last episode. In hindsight, Chuck revealing herself to her mom felt so abrupt. Hannibal. The Expanse. The last three books are the best of the series and include a satisfying ending. There is a time jump of 30 years in the books but really for the show they could have made it like 5 for the sake of the cast. Not seeing the TV show be fully finished is heartbreaking. At least we got an ending to an arc. The Expanse is three stories, the protomoleculin soul system, the Inneris War, and the Laconian Empire. We didn't get the Laconia arc, but at least the Inneris plot was resolved. Carnival. God this one still hurts. The cast we're great, but Clancy Brown was outstanding in it. Such a good bad guy. Firefly the network couldn't be bothered to show the episodes in the correct order. Firefly has haunted me since I first saw it as a teenager. Such a perfect cast and great writing. I don't even understand why Arrested Development was cancelled. It was one of the greatest comedies ever. 
then they brought it back many years later and almost ruined its legacy. From a retrospective I watched on the show I believe the cancellation was because despite being critically adored at the time of release, it wasn't actually doing so great numbers wise it was basically kept alive because it was winning awards and prestige for the studio behind it but alas the awards weren't actually pulling in high ratings. The show didn't truly become a cult classic until after its cancellation when people started discovering it on DVD and then eventually streaming services it was more popular in its afterlife than it ever was whilst living. Hence Netflix decided to try a reboot when it became one of the most watched titles on their service. Jericho Maybe that scene where the hung the black water dude cut a little too close to home. I really loved that show. The first season was magnificent. They had to rush an ending to the point where it barely made any sense. But wish they could have had two more seasons to flush it out. Glow. I will die mad about this one fuck I miss this show so goddamn much. The Society on Netflix. It's a fantastic show that was renewed for a second season but then cancelled due to complications resulting from the pandemic. Inside Job. I honestly can't fathom why it got cancelled, that was one of the funniest new cartoons of the last decade. Centaur World also for exactly the same reasons, and cancelled by the same people. It's amazing that any Netflix shows get viewership when almost every single series ends up cancelled. Inside Job was leagues ahead of their other cartoon projects. Archive 81 Marco Polo Benedict Wong is fantastic as Kablai Khan. The Last Man on Earth. The main character was a little over the top but I loved it. Fox cancelled The Last Man on Earth, The Mick, and Brooklyn 99 on the same day, three shows that I absolutely loved. Thankfully NBC picked up 99 for a couple more seasons. NBC's Hannibal. The cast all want to return to. Don't trust the BN Apartment 23. I really like that show. That's the show that made me adore Kristen Ritter. She was excellent in it. The Teen Titans show. Not Teen Titans Go but the original one. It was much better and really did not need to be ended. It had great fights appropriate levels of humor, and it had an actual timeline. The reboot that is Teen Titans Go was an absolute disappointment. Too much humor and its action is too mundane. Not to mention, it's advertised for only kids but with humor that does not fit. Dollhouse on the c channel. It just disappeared and it deserved better. Dollhouse aired in Fox. c never made any new episodes. And it was cancelled halfway through filming the second season. But after the Firefly fiasco, Hwedden had his contract written that he'd be given six episodes to complete the story. Every episode of the second half of the second season should have been a complete season, but at least we got the whole story. Metalocalypse Last I heard, a movie should be coming out shortly to help wrap up the story. Fingers crossed. Santa Clarita died because Netflix. I need more Timothy Oliphant comedy in my life. Daredevil. They are rebooting it on Disney Plus with both Charlie Cox and Vincent D returning. Hoping it doesn't get excessively Disney feed. Everything is on hold right now due to the strikes. Happy Endings. One of my favorite shows ever. ABC absolutely fucked that show with their erratic scheduling of it in season 3. Season 2 aired immediately after Modern Family at its peak and I believe was in the top 25 highest rated shows of that year because of the carryover audience. Then they just hired to move it, and moved it again, and again, and again nobody knew what daytime hour it was on so the ratings dropped off a cliff. I'm still better about it. My so-called life. 
I recently rewatched this with my teenage daughters and I'm officially an adult now because I definitely identify with the parents and not the kids on this rewatch. Happy to report my kids love it just as much as I do. Penny Dreadful Excellent show. I still get chills watching the scenes scene. Eva Green was perfectly cast for that role. Metabots Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance I know it was crazy expensive, but the artistry at every level was nothing short of magnificent. Hell of a show, stunning puppets, puppetry, voice performance, sets, world building. I could go on and on. I'm heartbroken the plug got pulled. One of my favorite reboots of a classic franchise. It felt more like something from the 80s than something made just a few years ago, so unabashedly mystical and weird. The combination of CGI backgrounds with practical puppetry and set design was perfect and unlike anything else I've seen. The Mick. It starred Caitlin Olsen from Always Sunny. Edit, wow, glad I found my people who understand when I say, chili. Omf guy just binged this and was pissed to find out it was cancelled. Infinity Train. The Tick. What irritated me about the most recent iteration's cancellation was how they made no attempt to actually market the fucking show. I really enjoyed it, but had no idea it was even a thing until both seasons were out. Most of my friends never saw an episode, or even a trailer. It felt like Amazon wanted it to fail. I get it when a show that I like doesn't achieve mass appeal, but it didn't seem like the tick did anything wrong. When Good Omens came out they changed the packaging on my shipments to market it, and the tick got nothing. Raised by Wolves. Some finance guy took over HBO and cut it cause of costs. This one is going to stick with me for a long time. It was so fascinating and unique. And as strange as it was, it seemed like they really had a plan behind the whole puzzle box. Better off Ted. Only got a few seasons but was poised to be an all time great. Final Space. Final Space may have been cancelled. But at least we can always count on the universe for its consistent track record of disappointing us. Lie to me. Loved that show. Stargate Universe. Not the best of Stargate shows but it could have used a season 3 send off instead of that cliffhanger. Honestly they cut that one off right as they finally found their footing. Mint Hunter. Kim's Convenience. Not sure how big it was in the rest of the world, but a lot of Canadians were are upset about the cliffhanger they left us on. I watched it on Netflix for a while, I'm in the US. It was the perfect mindless but also entertaining show for me at the time and finished everything up to that point, the final season hadn't come out. And I dk I just haven't felt that pull to finish it. I did watch some of the final season but that pull to go watch it was never there for me. Pushing Daisies Flash Forward The OA Such an underrated show such a bonkers cliffhanger. Deleted